no basic PowerShell course would be complete without talking about the breakdown of the commands themselves. In this particular video, we're going to talk about nouns, modules, and verbs. So if we take a look when we go to type in a command in PowerShell, we have several different options. And as mentioned earlier, there are some popular types of verbs to get started. You've got get, set, new, remove, add. These are all verbs, and they all start out the commands. So as you can see, get gets the details. It doesn't actually make any changes. Set actually does make changes. And you've got new, remove, add. These all make changes to an item. And after you type a verb, you are always going to type the dash key next to it. You may also refer to this as the minus key, depending on where you're from. Let's take a look at modules. This is the next part of a command. So modules refer to which module that you're trying to use. So there's uh, an example here. Now, they're not always used in all commands. So an example would be set-net IP address. So that would be where we do use a module. Now, the module is highlighted in red. So net is the module. And then you also have another one here, get-dns-client-server address. And dns-client is the module. If we typed simply get-server address, that would get all of the information for that particular command. But if we do get-dns-client-server address, then that refers to the specific module that we're looking for. Now, here's an example of it not being used, remove-item. It doesn't say which module it's going to be removing. However, after the words remove dash item, there would be additional commands as to what it is you're going to be removing. So you don't necessarily have to have the module in the command. You could have a parameter after the word item, which we'll show in a little bit. So the other thing we've got that where it doesn't use a module is import dash CSV. That's a cluster shared volume. So there is no module when it comes to that particular command. So let's take a look at nouns. So nouns are another part of the command. What are you working on? It's a person, it's a place, it's a thing. You know, it's the same kind of uh, rules that applied back in school. It, it applies to our PowerShell commands. We have export dash CSV. So CSV in this particular case is the noun. So we just had another com uh, command pre in the previous slide where we said import dash CSV. There's no module. However, it does have a noun. So it's got a verb and it's got a noun. So in this case, we've got a verb and a noun, and you can have a module in between if you want to. The other option would be new-item, and obviously that would be creating a new item. There's your noun, and there's your verb. So if I was going to add a new user, I would maybe type new, and then I would put the dash after it because it is a verb. And then I would put in AD for Active Directory because it's going to be an Active, active Directory uh, user. Then I would put the word user afterwards. So new dash AD user is a complete beginning of a PowerShell command. It's got the verb new. It's got AD, the module, though you don't have to do that. And it's got the word user, which is the noun. So we're going to get into additional structure uh, of the commands, but this is the beginning part of any PowerShell command. The verb, the module, which is optional, and then the noun. So in our next video, we're going to talk about object structure, what comes after the verb, the module, and the noun, and what that all means.